Here we're going to show you how to take a mender apart or a coupler, how to take it apart, how to put one together. If you're out pumping, you tear a hose, this will take you through the steps. Impact wrench, 516 Allen wrench. Now this was a new fitting before we started. It's been taken apart and put together probably four, about four or five times. It was a new fitting, so why bother greasing the threads? However, this last time there's one, one of these that is stuck. So it's very important, either grease or never seize. Now, when the bolts are new, you don't need to. Uh, it's just, if you ever hope to take them apart again, it's best. The grease does two things. One is it, it's, it lubricates the threads. This is a stainless bolt with a zinc nut, so the threads will gall and go bad, lock up on you. The other thing the grease does is right here under the head. It keeps it from binding on the aluminum. So just things just work better. When it binds on the aluminum, it looks like this hole. The hole gets worn, and that's because we've been we've taken this one apart and put it together about half a dozen times. So what if you don't grease them? If you never grease them, you can put always put them together the first time. You may not be able to take them apart in a couple years from now if you want to. If you don't grease, especially so these are nut and bolt. If one locks up, which this one is, that's why this joint is crooked, is because this one's seized up. You take a grinder and slitting wheel and cut it off here. If you're using, with a nut and bolt, you can always stick a new one in. If it's a drilled and tapped, then you can throw the fitting away because you can't get it out. I try to always use nut and bolts on the couplers and also on the supply hose menders. On the, on the drag hose, the only place I use drilled and tapped is on the drag hose menders because they'll last longer. They don't wear down as fast without having this nut sticking out. So typically it's easiest to get this short piece of hose off by cutting it because it clamps. Now this one we just stuck on an hour ago, but normally this hose will be wedged into the grooves that hard that you can't pull it off like that. So we typically just cut them off. Now to go back together, I left two of the bolts in, partly because this one I can't move anyways. These bolts still have plenty of grease on due to the fact I just, I just had this fitting apart. This one went in easy. This hose is a little over six inch. They don't always go in that easy, but it is nice when they cooperate. If you put your single bolts on the same side, put your single bolts on the same side, then you can spin it around and have two of them connected together. It's the easiest to use the impact driver to turn them to get the nuts started. Now, when you're tightening them up, you want to kind of work your way around. Don't just tighten the one the whole way and have all the others spread far apart works best to bring it together. This hose is a little thinner. The wall thickness isn't quite as thick as some. So these clamps, they'll basically be tight together when I'm done. The reason for tightening them all part ways is because if you have a big gap here and you tighten this one last, like let's say I'd have all the others tight except for this one. The, the hose will tend to bunch up in between here and it just tightens more uniformly and you get a better fit if you tighten it consistently. If you don't have a good good fit for the clamp, it's not gonna hold as well. You run the risk of your fitting blowing off the end. There is some various thoughts on that you should be torquing your bolts to a certain torque spec. If you tighten them too hard, it cuts into the threads. That is maybe why this particular hose tore off right at the fitting. It would be as if I tightened too hard. However, the amount of grease you put on is and the condition of your bolt threads is going to make a bigger difference on actual torque into the hose. So you can measure your torque on your bolts, but that's not telling you how much is being transferred to the hose, how much friction loss there is in your bolt threads. We're all familiar with friction loss in the hose. Well, you get the same thing with the bolts and the grease is helping prevent that. 